All right, time now for business news. Uh, we're going over to Mike Apple. Good morning to you, Mike. Hello there, Melanie. How are you? Good. I never get to do this one. Usually it's you and Raj, <laughs> but he's off this week. So double duty for me, for you. There you go. Uh, we're talking Elon Musk. Yep. Yeah, he was losing money on Friday and making it back today. There you go. Evens <laughs> out. Had the uh, unveiling of the Cybertruck. You have to say it like that. You got to yeah. say it like that, right? <laughs> someday, someday, someday. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, they had that so-called shatterproof glass issue when they were uh, showing it off at that event in California Friday, and the share price of uh, Tesla fell by 6% in Friday's trade because it kind of went, oh, that didn't sure. go well, over so well. But then uh, Mr. Musk was on Twitter over the weekend talking about uh, pre-orders or at least customer interest in the Cybertruck. <laughs> and uh, 200,000 in the early estimates, 200,000 people already uh, interested in buying that vehicle, which won't be out until 2021 at the earliest. Uh, so it's not, it's, it's reminiscent of what we saw with the, uh, the Model 3. You know, people will actually put down money yeah. and were in a queue, so to speak, to buy that electric car made by uh, Tesla. So maybe they'll have something, you know, it's, 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 it was garnering lots of attention, uh, certainly free advertising. They didn't have to do anything for it to uh, promote it at all. So, uh, yeah, might be a winner. We'll see. Oh, the Cybertruck. Okay. Cybertruck. Uh, let's talk CN Rail. Okay, now into yeah. at least a week into this strike. What's the latest here? Uh, no moves. You know, this is a problem. The, the rails are not running, and uh, there is no uh, the commentary coming out of the uh, federal government over the weekend is they're not going to recall Parliament before December 5th to have any uh, back-to-work legislation. Even then, it's going to take time. Um, and no progress in the talks. And now we're starting to calculate the effects on the economy because, you know, we'd already heard it last week about certain components, sectors of the economy saying, hey, uh, we're st at a standstill here getting goods to market. So it won't take long here, Melanie, for actually economic damage to be done from CN. Uh, the stock price was down sharply last week. It's uh, continuing to slide, likely so today. And we will be uh, getting some economic signals this week, which may already start to tabulate the effects of the strike. Big deal in the jewelry world. Yep. We're talking about the blue Tiffany colors that Putting are now worth on it. how many billion? <laughs> 16.2 billion is the agreed to price that uh, Tiffany finally said yes to uh, from LVMH, Louis Vuitton out of France. Um, so it's the biggest luxury deal ever. And, you know, it points to still a very strong consumer segment. If uh, LVMH is valuing Tiffany at that price tag, that means there is money to be spent from consumers. And it's just in time for Christmas, so to speak. So yeah, uh, this week, the spotlight, of course, will be on uh, the retail sector because it's going to be Black Friday at the end of the week. So start shopping. The I deals guess. are already out there, Mike. I know. They've I know. been out. I've been looking. I've been shopping. <laughs> a lot. Online, maybe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, Mike. Thanks so much. Have a Thank good you. Monday. You too.